name's Anna Burney. I am a Head of Leadership Change at Forum for the Future. Uh, with a, it's quite interesting doing those timelines of where I come from. You know, I've spent 10 years working in education, not in schools, but working alongside them from the World Summit in Sustainable Development in 2002 um, through WWF UK, now at Forum for the Future. I, I think education, for me, really sets the marker for the rest of sustainability. It really helps us dig into the core issues. Now I work with not just education, I work with corporates and other public sector bodies, you know, I work with Welsh Assembly Government, I'm doing a massive piece of work with BT. But I keep coming back to education. Whoever said that point about the learning case, not just the business case, I'm going to, I know they're quite articulated in that way, and that for me is absolutely brilliant, because what we can do in education is, is, is a unique thing. We can really talk about what kind of future we want for our children and we can really start to have the fundamental conversations we need to have about sustainability and therefore what kind of schools do we need, what kind of society do we want as a consequence and for me that really is still inspiring on a day-to-day -day basis the kind of inspiration and education, the area of education gives to sustainability. Just as a bit of context, uh, this, this workshop Specifically, it is based on some work we've been doing with the National College. Was for school leadership, now for school leadership, children's centres, I can't quite remember the exact line of that, which could again change the name of the new government. But the core part of this was to work with uh, leaders in sustainability, not leaders as in necessary just heads, but leaders across the, um, across the school to help understand what is the journey of sustainable schools. So this workshop is really going to show what the research findings um, we've come up with. This is our report we published um, in December, and we've got another one that we're just putting together in the final, kind of much easier to digest. And this workshop is going to be based on the report that I'm currently putting together with our team with the Institute of Education. It's also based on a thick piece that I would recommend, even if it's even if you don't have a chance to read it all, just to read the executive summary that myself, um, Jane Reed from the Institute of Education, and Jonathan from earlier, and David Hopkins um, put together, which I hopefully is a, stim a stimulus to help you thinking about that bigger question about education, you know, what kind of future. Um, it is about every child's future, so how do we, how do we create um, the way forward around it? So that's also the frame of this conference, no, this workshop, sorry. So, I'm going to briefly touch on the framing, what kind of future, I'm going to talk about the research, but actually the most important part of this session is uh, about digging deep into that research and, and making it apply to you and helping to understand what it means for your context if you're working with or in a school. So this is a, a slide, I'm very glad Jonathan did have slides today because it's his. Um, <laughs> is this is from the climate, the, a, a cartoon that was put out during the Copenhagen um, site. So we've got to remember that it's not all about the business case. I think this speaks to that. Even if we find out that some of the science is wrong and we've started arguing about it, the main thing is we are actually trying to create a better future. So, you know, we are, well, no matter what the external environment is saying here, we've still got a really important role to play in schools by saying what kind of future do we want our children to have and what contribution are we making to them that they will make to our, um, to our future. And I think that's really important to hold in mind when we've got all this kind of climate scepticism and uh, issues going on about how much do we need to say by, by, when. You know, all those arguments to me are irrelevant. It's really about the learning and what kind of learning we can encourage our children to have. So we, we can have many definitions of sustainable development. I'm sure you've got your own and a lot of the leadership journey we're looking at is about you finding your own um, your own uh, version of that definition. The main thing we use in Forum for the Future is it's a dynamic process. So the most important thing here is to find your own dynamic process. What is your process for you, your school, the schools you work with? to enable you to realise their potential. What are the potential of the children that you're working with? To improve their quality of life now and in the future. And to do that, we need to do it within the limits of our environment, within the, the Earth support system. So it's, just, it's good to remind us of that context. But I quite like our version of it because it does emphasise that dynamic 
process and really about what is the potential of all these children, what is the potential of all of us as leaders, and um, how can we help help that. So we also have um, sorry, a very strong government policy as we were just looking at the national framework, but just to remind ourselves that it's not just about the doorways. The key thing about this frame, which I think is, is really good, is that the definition of sustainability they give is about caring for ourselves, it's about caring for each other, and caring for our environment. Now there's rigorous elements of definition we put into that, but at a simplicity level, and I know a lot of schools have been using this with their kids, it works. And it really encapsulates the kind of how we care about the learning of the kids, how we ensure that the community of the school, but also how that community is defined as how we procure from different countries, how we impact on different cultures, and how we look at our grounds in our school and how that relates to looking at our wider impact on the environment. And not just to do it in extracurricular areas, but it's also about doing it in the campus, the community, and in the curriculum, the core kind of business of what the school is, is kind of delivering. The eight doorways help us break down sustainable development, and I see doorways as um, not as doorways you walk out of the room, but doorways you walk into a room. So doorways is a way into sustainable development agenda. And so therefore, when we all walk through different doorways, in the end, we should end up in the middle of the room. And I think that's really important conceptualization for, for the doorways because otherwise we can see them as very separate kind of strands of work and we've got to at some point say how do these strands of work add up to the whole room. So hopefully you've all seen um, the doorways before. In our, in our think piece uh, for the National College, we started asking questions about moral purpose, about the foundations of education. And this question kind of emerged from that piece of work, which is how will you be leading if the future really matters? So this, a lot of our work obviously at Forum for the Future is about thinking about what, where we are now and what kind of future do we want to, get, we want to, uh, want to create. So what are the values and organising principles behind your organisation? And how are you going to uh, lead for a different kind of future? How are you going to take your school forward? And I think we mean leadership in this context as anyone who is willing to take a stand and to do something about it. So every one of you by coming to this conference are leaders and that's how we would define it. So it's about by the end of this session we'll be looking at what you might want to do as a leader and using some of the qualities come out of this research to think about okay how am I going to lead? How am I going to actually really push forward this agenda? through the kind of typical dimensions of state development, social, environment, and economic, and what impact does that have on kind of your, your progress performance, your attainment, your, uh, what you're measured by? Um, and how, how do you question what you're measured by as well? You know, I've had some interesting debates with some of the schools we've been working with about, it's not saying attainment and achievement is not the right thing, it's how we measure attainment and achievement and what value we're placing on the school. So how do we shift and prove to the system that actually how we how we measured our progress and performance, some of that might need to change, and we're thinking about that might need to change. Uh, because actually what we're trying to do is creating a better, more equitable, which goes back to a lot of the work we've been looking at, as Jonathan mentioned this morning, about the, the spirit level, you know, how do we create an equitable society, outcomes for children for us all in the future. 